Shape 45. We are back with Twisted. Bunk five? On, on, on their best behavior. I'm trying. I don't want John coming over here putting me in no rear naked choke hold or nothing. I was I was giving the, the, the nukes right at the top. Watch your mouth and sit in your right. seat. We're just trying to behave, man. Yes, we don't sir. get asked a lot of places like this, Jew. So, <laughs> number one. We ain't trying start to start there. Up. Yep. <laughs> right. You guys actually listen to the show, too, huh? Yeah, I'm a huge fan, man. I listen to it like motherfucker. I've been fucking with you since Jenny Jones, bro. For real? Yeah, yep. Appreciate I'm going to have you sign my chest, if you will. God but damn. That's after he told this. me he was going to be way more thug than this. No, for real. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, I've been fucking with you for a long time, for real. Shouts out. Lord Sears show and all that. That's what's yeah, up. That's yeah. really cool. You even know about the Old Man River shit. Old Man <laughs> I'll be driving laughing my ass off. Lay it on him one time. Give me that. Old <laughs> Man <laughs> River. Yeah. That's it, man. I love your show. It's hilarious. You're a real ass dude. River. We haven't been able to play this song no more since John got the, he got rid of them. Them leather, them leather <laughs> the <duckets>. shoes, yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn. Them sharecropper toes. I swear toes. to God, I was about to bring a pair of twisted high tops for him, but I'm like, John ain't wearing that shit. What? About to throw them bitches at me. No. Nope. John will wear them shit, so wear them to death. <laughs> Maybe that's the trick. We're going to get you right then, John. God damn it. Appreciate it. John that. got a pair Set of, up. yeah, he's got a pair of ostrich skin, like, ASICs that look like guacamole, like, that's been set out too long. It's brown. Ooh, yeah. God damn. That's what they call them out west, little guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> little mole. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking rough. That's that oxidated guacamole. But I'm yeah. glad you came back home, man. You're yeah, here for that's real. That's, hey, that's creepy. It's I good. Love it. You, you're like there's 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 five people that have been able to twelve people that have been able to stay in Michigan and get money. Okay. Uh, you're one of them. We're, we're the last of a dying breed. <laughs> I, I had to get the fuck out. I hear you. Golly. It's like we got out of the city. We grew up in we grew up east side, seven and grass shit. And it was like once we got to a certain point, Detroit was like, you better get your ass up out of here. And yeah. we did. So now we're both like 10, 15 minutes out in the suburbs. But. Metropolitan Detroit area. Right. But I tell you what, <laughs> this motherfucker goes through shit out where he lives almost as crazy as shit we went through in the city. It's crazy. Like, people just walk around with pistols on their hips and shit. Like, just what? <laughs> it, uh, nice. De- nice. Detroit's been been blossoming out because uh, my folks is from uh, Gratiot and Topher and I, yeah. went, I I drove through that neighborhood just to see. It used to be an Italian neighborhood. I went through you know there again. Up? I was like, this ain't Italian. Ain't no, eight nah. mile done extended to like nine and nine and a half mile. You know, it got, <laughs> it got real shafty. Like, it's, it's real. That's where we... We grew up over there until we couldn't no more. Really. What was that like growing up, like white dudes on the east side? Like we were the changeover. Yeah, you know what I mean. We were the changeover because that's what it was. If you were white, people just thought they could punk you. Yeah, you know what I mean. So when we came over there, it started. Everybody, you know, tried punking us. And yeah. The next thing you know, it was like, don't fuck with the white boys on the corner. You know what yeah. I mean. And then we integrated basically. Yeah. Is when um all the drugs and shit came in. We got the kids from the suburbs to come and buy the buy from all the homies in the hood. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So everybody was just getting money for a little bit. Yeah. And then it was time for us to go. We got to go. And now uh, it was probably 30 of us. It's probably like eight of us alive but not in prison for the rest of our lives. That's crazy, though. It, it really yeah. is, man. We don't, I can't believe that we made it out of there. Real shit. Real shit. It's true. Yeah, cats don't understand. Like, there's a big difference between the east side and the west side. Oh, it absolutely, is. it is yeah. absolutely. West side was always about the hustle. East side was like, we'll fucking rob you for every dime of that hustle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that was the difference. Real so shit, extra. real shit. <clears throat> and um, I tell you, if it wasn't for this man right here, I'd yeah. be dead or in prison for the rest of my life, hundred percent, without a doubt in my fucking mind. Jamie Madrox saved my fucking life. Thank ja- you, brother. Jamie, what'd you do? Um, I told him that that I have a plan and I want us to do this rap thing and to just trust me and believe in me, even if it's for because we had already fell out of this other group. We were since we were in, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm about to just hustle it's hard." True. Yeah, and, and where it lay it lay, and he came a little bit later. And he's like, "Look, man, I got this fucking idea. Give me a shot. Mm-hmm. Give me a shot." 
and, and let's see what happens. I didn't and need I did. Chuck Dedeker to tell me the forecast on his upcoming life. It was right. going to be real grim. So I'm glad that he gave me. I'm glad he gave me that one year and blessed me up with that to turn the three, to turn the six, to turn right. the ten, turn to where the, we are today, and we still together riding it. So right. that's the I only motherfucker that. I trust with my life. Like Shut I could up. trust him with my life unequivocally, without a doubt in my mind. And that's gangster. I've been knowing this dude almost forty years. Like it's true. We go back. It ain't, like crayons, <laughs> way right, back before they made crayons. Right. For real, man. Before you got the three colors right. at we Olive was, Garden and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, was, we was the original crayons. We came in before the Andes Mints. For real, man. Yo, you remember the crayon box with the fucking sharpener on that Come bitch? On, man. Yeah. They found a way to turn that into a weapon. And got it up out of there. I quick. had to put everybody up on game. You We're get to peel the paper in order to get that sharp. And it was like, man, this motherfucker really know he what's knew. up on them arts. Right. Like, yeah, man. I always yeah. wanted that one. That was <laughs> <laughs> That was like that was yeah. goals right there. For Hashtag real, goals. Man. Hashtag right, goals. Wait, no, the only time we got into a restaurant is when it was like some crazy, crazy or I went out with him. Like my mom and dad didn't take us nowhere. But they took us to the thrift store for school clothes. That's mm -hmm. where we went. We didn't have shit. For real. We had nothing. So I knew I got to get some money. So yeah. at like 13, I started working right mm -hmm. there. And high school happened. I went to Osborne. That shit was lit. That shit was crazy. Hell Set yeah. people hair on fire. Brawls, guns, everything. You talk about 15, 20 years ago. I think what, what's cool about that, too, is, is, is something that you brought to the, to the, the was, was the work ethic. That's one thing that I always admired about him the most is... is he he has that mind set about him that that no matter what something is or no matter how hard or shitty it may be, he, if he sets his mind to it, he's going to do it. So I've learned that from him, and I've kind of in, in, enfolded that into my my mixture, so to speak, and, and that puts me in the zone where when we do something, we're going to execute it right. to the fullest. Yeah, you know there's I mean? there's like some bums out here in Michigan, but Real the talk. but the cats that grind, hey, yes sir, be on their motherfucking grind. I always right. I like my up. my homies that used to sell. Uh, Back in the day, mm -hmm. when, when they sold dope, they would wake up extra early just to serve the the, the early cat. Bird, get yeah, the worm. yeah, just, for real. Serve, serve the cats. You waking up at noon? I'm already yeah. sitting on three hundred. You yeah, know what right. I mean? yeah, for real. I for, for you. For six o'clock for, for the side. yeah mm -hmm. for the for That's the cats it. going in the gym up for the first shift. <laughs> yes, for sir. real, yeah. for yeah. real, for real. It was crazy, man. But yeah, you did because it was hopeless, bro. Right. It was absolutely fucking hopeless. There was nothing. So you either could play ball, yeah. Maybe you could, because I could ball. I was thinking about that for a while, going to college, to play ball. I had people fucking with me, and I was like, "Fuck school," and um, or you sold, you slang. That and, was it. And then you guys was rapping, and you guys, you guys got what ICP. Mm -hmm. Yep, they. Mm -hmm. We were um, we were another band, right? They took us on tour for a little bit. Me and Jamie end up getting cool with the dudes from ICP. So that tour ends, we go home, them dudes get that whole Disney shit happen, right? And we're just watching like, dang. But, but they come up. home and they hit us up like, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? And we played it and they were like, yeah, that's all we here. I was going to say the part about that we played Quick. it because when we went home, yeah. we decided that we were going to do this other venture. You're so, right. So just, that was the one that he saved like, my life with. Like I'm saying, like he was, he's, he's mm -hmm. about to grind. I'm like, look, man, give me give me this year. Let's go in the studio. What Let's, was the other venture? What, what the was other, it? Yeah, okay. We were in a band called House of Crazies. And right. then we this other venture was Infamous Superstars Incorporated. We did this like three, four song EP. Yeah. And we gave it to the dude from ICP. He came back in town after tour, sat with us, went for a ride in the car, put it, put it, put it in, blew his mind. He was like, man, y'all did this? I'm like, yeah, absolutely, man. This is this is our shit. He was like, I love it. I just don't like the name, and I think it should just be y'all two. And you know, here we go. Pretty much the rest from then just started a fucking so domino effect. We signed for three thousand dollars, and the rest of <laughs> history, baby. <laughs> Woo. Who'd you have to fire? Uh, uh, it was it, it wasn't it wasn't a firing. We position. told our homie, look, bro, yeah. we're about to get this deal. I swear to God, you coming? We're with coming us. back for we're real. Gonna, we're gonna get you in this, and we did. We made good it's on all true. that. It's How'd true. How'd you get him back in? What? Because they ended up. It got to a point where we told them, look, bro, if you need rappers, mm -hmm. we yeah. know rappers for sure. Right. We know all of them. So it got to a point where they every time they wanted to bridge out, they just asked us. Mm -hmm. So we got. Blaze you that homie who was the homie Chris. Yeah, we yeah. got anybody killer in. We got Mr. Realist. We got all our people in. Uh. And um everybody was just like, Yeah, man, you did the right thing. For sure. And then whatever you do with your career after that is that. But we got everybody in the door then as what happened, as we could. What happened once you went ICP? What happened with the falling out? Just the difference of views. Time to yeah. like 
They wanted to do one thing, and we wanted to do another. And what did they want to do, and what you want to do? We wanted to continue going the direction that we were going. We didn't want to. We don't want to apologize. We don't want for anything. Yeah. We don't regret nothing. We just want to keep doing what the fuck we're doing. But explain it. it explain it became, it more. It became a political stance. It right. became a political stance with them to to act on 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 something, and we had a difference of opinions. And um, how so? Uh, they wanted to sue the FBI. They right. wanted to. They, they wanted to 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 go and march on on Washington over this 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 issue. And and we supposedly the juggalos, not supposedly, the juggalos, which are the people that made us who we are, the mm -hmm. people that we represent day in and day out. Absolutely, were assessed by the FBI because people were getting arrested and they kept seeing the Hatchet Man all over the place because right. that shit was everywhere. So they're like, "What the fuck is going on? Is this some crazy gang?" So they assessed it. The next year they came out. They're like, "No, you guys are not a gang. No more on the list." Right. So these years go by. And all of a sudden, dude has this idea about going down to the FBI and marching and telling all the kids we're doing it because they labeled us a gang. And it ain't fucking true. The whole march was for the information as to why the whole thing was assessed as a gang. We're not a gang. We ain't assessed as one. It was a big manipulation. And me and my man stood our fucking ground. Real talk. We didn't buckle. Cause he we guys, didn't make up excuses. Either. We walked away from everything, Jude, to stand behind what we fucking believe. What, what kind of what kind of blowback did you get? Because the juggalos are very. Uh, they are. We know we made them motherfuckers just like they the, did. The blow yeah. the blowback was was more or less. Um, Mom and dad are now, fighting. Now, yeah, mom and dad are fighting, so to speak, and the and the children are up in 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 the divorce hearings, and right. it's like, and and it's it's one of these situations where we're like, um, we are not about to just go drag these dudes through the mud. Well, for sure, it yeah, it ain't, it ain't about being malicious Whatever they and all do, that. They do if they come out and they're like, fuck, twisted, there's some bitches, fuck them. Do that's they? what they do. Do they say that? We've heard they have. Yeah. We've heard yeah. things. I haven't heard it physically from them, but we've heard things. You but know what I mean? Like but it's at like at the end of the day, man. We're good. Say what you want to say. We're going to keep it pushing. We had our own opinion on how on how the scenario uh, needed to be addressed. Again, it's an opinion. It's like assholes. Everybody right. has their own. Our opinion was to possibly try to get l legal services for these people in question that, that had this stigma fall upon them. It was like, you know, some people couldn't get in the army because they had these tattoos or some people were getting their kids taken away because of CPS, because of being a juggalo. Right. It was we delved deeper into the stories, which we did. We pulled it all and we look and we're like it ain't got shit to do with being the jugglers because they found a bunch of fucking heroin in your house you know there's you know there's, I mean? like, there's always <laughs> fucking for real there's always some kind of crazy backstory and the thing is 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 if for any reason the juggalos were on a fucking list of mm -hmm. any kind me and this motherfucker be the first ones down there flat out the first one but do we you knew. think that was this a was this a publicity absolutely it's what he told me right to my fucking face the thing, the thing, the thing about the assessment to right, that, that that a lot of people don't understand is like, the police are like a gang. Mm -hmm. So the police got different gang chapters in every every state across the nation. So they get together and then they do these assessments. You say, hey, in Chicago, there's some motherfuckers coming around calling the hatchet riders, and these people are called the Malinkos, and these people are, and y'all assess and say, hey, watch your back out there, man, because these people out here are doing this shit. Keep your eye out for that. That's, right. that's what an assessment is. Right. You know, when you, when you preach something factually and you say it's in stone like the tablet, you know, you with get Moses, all these people believing it. And then it's not necessarily that case. And, and, and and it's like we took a stance to 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 not be a part of it because we didn't necessarily believe in it. Right, right. It was like a long time ago, like a bunch of rappers were talking about bring your guns back, turn your guns back in. You know what I mean? It was like, just as a stance, man. Right. It's like not everybody agrees with that. You know yeah. what I mean? Fuck turning in your guns. I got to protect my family. You right. know what I'm so saying? That, that's yeah. why it's, it is the way it is. Right. And some people believe that um, every word he say, and, and it is what it is, man. We're right. Just, we don't want. We don't want people rethinking their tattoos and shit like that. So we we'll sure. just keep it pushing. We don't want to slander nobody. We just no. keep it What are your no. shows like? Are the do, lit? Do They're, juggalos yeah. still come? Or? Man, yeah. Hell yeah, we are the motherfucking juggalos. And that's absolutely a, that's another thing too. It's just like it's it's been a it, We just turned the warp tour into a bunch of fucking fuck juggalos. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that was like, the that shit was too. ridiculous, bro. Absolutely. But it's like the it's 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 like there's there's this on the table of trying to like take our credibility away from right. us. As absolutely. if as if to imply that the 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 bricks we proverbially laid in this 
foundation of juggalo world are not genuine anymore because of a difference of opinion or because someone wants to question our our dedication to what we represent they you know made what it I mean? seem it's like never... it was money hungry like right. it was all about this money that we weren't getting and we're like motherfucker it ain't got if we got to talking about money that's a whole nother thing right people don't want to know right so it's like just dead it dead it if they want to keep talking about it keep talking about it hopefully it just keeps falling on less and less ears really we are just like y'all just sound mad at this point really like because we're not there's no disc records we no videos no none of that man we're just trying to keep the fucking generation that we and, and the and the movement that we created keep it going and all our hard work invested in what we've done keep that it wasn't it wasn't just because we just didn't have nothing better to do we feel this shit in our soul this Absolutely. is this is who we are and this is what we do so when we when, when we say what we say on the records when we do what we do when we're out there in the streets and helping out people and fans and family and shit like that that's from the heart so when somebody questions that i'm like who the fuck are you to question our story right. and 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 you and, wouldn't and, believe the things that and, we yeah, do you wouldn't but believe we're not those guys here really? turn on the instagram i'm gonna give this homeless guy five hundred dollars right because i'm trying to give the homeless guy five hundred dollars like we're not those dudes right but the shit that we do behind the scenes for the people that made us who we are right is second to none bro second right. to none right second to none and how I do just, you feel about them cats that do that shit like that it's gay, man. It's we know kinda, what it is because we know we're entertainers, so we know it's we get not it. real. It's PR. It would surprise me as soon as that fucking camera went off, dude was like, give me my money back. <laughs> and that happened you on TFC. I mean? <laughs> this is what like that. real shit. <laughs> they did this thing where it was to slap the hands, and my man slapped his hands, and he gave him the brick. And as soon as they cut the cameras off, he's like, my man, give me that brick back. Right. Like, for real. Like, you know, it, it's, 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 it's not it's genuine. It's a status it's, thing. It, it, it might be. It might be, but I'll tell everybody that does that. It doesn't come off as genuine. It doesn't. It doesn't. It just comes off of you trying to get some views and some likes on some some phony care when bullshit. I, when I y'all see, been in it for a minute, absolutely. We've what, been doing this for twenty five years. For sure. What's it like? What's it like watching the game change? It's cool. Whatever keeps yeah. the game going. Right. We ain't hating. Yeah. No, we ain't hating. It's 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 different. It ain't necessarily though. for us. It's yeah. I, I like that better. It ain't necessarily ain't for hating. us, but but we watch it from afar. Mosey Gunner. We Yachty, stay we stay in our lane. Pete and, 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 and all of them. We try to. I say try to. We 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 do us. We, we do, do us. So and, and 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 by the grace of God, we're able to remain current and 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 keep involved in what's going on. But you know. Everybody's got a scene. Who am I to say the scene ain't fresh or the, the scene ain't popping or, or whatnot? You know what I mean. So, so have y'all been independent this whole time? Absolutely, not the whole. Not, I mean, wait. since we left, yeah, we had deal, we had point, a deal with Def Jam. Yeah, I was going to say we had a deal with Island, and then they merged the distro deals. Yep, yep. and then it stopped. Do you prefer? What do you prefer? Independent, just what we are right now. Mm-hmm. There is no such thing as the word know where we are unless right. you talk about sex. Let's clear that up. <laughs> Jesus, but yes, yeah, we we get to. Actually put our vision and, and let that shit come to fruition without some guy that don't even listen to our kind of right. music try to tell us what the people that love us want to hear. For someone that wants to get on independently, like how many how many how many fans do you think they need? If you could get a you can get it cracking with fucking a hundred people. Let's say this, let's say fans. this. I don't necessarily think it's it's a number. It's can you make a living at it? That's that's what I say. So it's like if you parlay it into straight right. up, right? You ain't working. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, yeah. yeah. So the, having mm. having rap be your main job, like, yeah. What, I, just there's three you ways put a you number? can make money though. Break with, let me. There's three with. ways. There's merchandising. Okay. There's touring. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then there's streaming and C- and CD sales, which CD sales ain't really shit these days. But what do you guys do the best with touring? Uh, merch. Merchandise, merch. Yeah, we're a merchandising fucking conglomerate. We're giants. We man. actually we, brought you a. a, a we some, got some, you, some flag. We got you laced up, man. That's for what's real, up. Man. For real. But though. everything that we do, me and him are involved in for sure. Because the integrity of this band is something that we will not compromise for anybody. Nobody, not even fucking ICP. Nope. And I love not that even the people that so called put us on it or created us. Like mm. not for anybody. And that's why I believe that we're here right now is sure. because everybody knows that just like you, we ain't never put our name to no bullshit. If we say something, kids know we're keeping it real. Yeah. Regardless if they like it or not, they know we're fucking horrible liars. So we or just they know that we're, real. we're invested in our opinion enough that, that we're willing to stand for it. Right. Absolutely. And that's important, too. But we don't nobody hate wants to wish you feel wash a certain way. Like, it is, you like what you like. I like what I like. Mm-hmm. And it's, When's the last time you spoke with ICP? Hmm. 
like for real face to face. Seventeen annual gathering. Yeah, at the gathering. Seventeen, and it would have been uh, a year or two ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Too. Yeah, yeah. seventeen then we're gathering. So like, yeah, a couple years ago. Yeah, and then we tried to just keep kicking it back and forth, like trying to we find tried a to common ground. Tried but it to was just maintain fucking, that relationship. It was man. all these ultimatums. Well, y'all better do this, or we're not. And y'all better, y'all better. And we're like, look, dude, Fuck you don't get off. it. That's why we left, bro. Right. Because and it gets we, to a certain point too. It's like. I can see they're making these ultimatums. You're a year in on this shit, but you, y'all been dealing with them for for since forever. It's, right. It's, it's, so you can so you can see how you can build up a tolerance to a certain point, and then yeah. you reach your breaking point, and you try to keep it PC, and you try not to shit sling, and you try right. to stay on your grind and stay in your lane. But it becomes hard because when when all you hear is backlash and the total opposite from the other party, it it it, it, right. it makes Some it hard. You to, wake up, you're like I'm. About to Man. It makes it hard to be professional, right. you know what I mean? Which which we pride ourselves on, from like he said, from the merchandise onto the tours and everything. We're invested mm. and, and immersed in everything. That's we what do. he was talking about. Yeah. So I remember <laughs> when uh, Sarah and I split up. Like we'd have weird weird shit where it would be like, oh, Sarah was talking shit about you. Uh, Jew was talking shit about uh-huh, you. And uh-huh. then you go back and listen, and we're like, no, they they, they weren't. weren't right. You know, people feed that shit. People right. feed Absolutely. into that shit for real. For because real. we've been together so long, our circle. Remain the same for a while before it was like, all right, these motherfuckers are going to go over here with them and they're going to go over there and the sides have been chosen. Right. But, and that's all it is, man. It just ain't, it ain't for us to sit up there and make it any more than what it really is, man. It right. It's just us wanting to do what the fuck we thought was right. For sure. 888 We got Morgan in Virginia. 888 Morgan. 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 Hello. Oh, it's a dude. I thought it was a fucking. What up, Mo? <laughs> he did. You put yeah, the sex voice on Morgan. Right. He did. He was... Hey, Morgan. Right. What up, Morgan? What's up, dude? What you wearing, Morgan? Uh, uh. <laughs> wearing a fucking <laughs> banana hammock eating a taco. <laughs> he was like some Timbo. That's some Juggalo shit right there, right. Morgan, just so right. you know. Hell yeah. Right. So what I want to know is, like, ever since y'all split from psychopathic, Mm-hmm. As the shit has like bound Jane and been trying to give y'all shit about it, been trying to stop y'all from you know, progressing and getting better, or they just been like, all right. The thing, the thing about thing. it is, nobody can stop our progression. I was say all you can do is take away from our focus. And right. Yes, that's right. what a lot of people try to do, bro. But yeah. when we lo- when, just we keep it pushing. When we became independent, it was it was it was a, 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 a educated decision on our half, so that we wouldn't have to worry about things like that anymore. Right, we wouldn't have to worry about a person telling you if you don't do this, A, B, C, and D are the consequences. You have your own fate in your hand. You have right. your own. We know how to make something happen. If we decide we want something to happen, we're going to put it through the pipelines. Talk to the dude back there, make it happen, and it's going to happen. It's like we don't rely on other little facets to confuse things yeah so, so it's so not to answer they're your trying question, to stop anything we're doing but it, I, I haven't i haven't seen anything to they're just like not that. happy with what we're doing right right no i, I just I, you know it is what it is mm-hmm. well i mean Can't no matter happen. what you've done like no matter where you go you know you got juggler support i mean we appreciate you know that. that and we love y'all we support y'all we always have and we always will man y'all to are the, the first one die. absolutely y'all are the first ever to, yeah. to to give us your time give us your eardrums and 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 for real man be down with the cause and we appreciate y'all like, for that for real, yeah i don't like, know what it is I, y'all shit ever since like house of crazy like see like, you uh, go back then morgan mm-hmm. you know yeah man you watch like, it yeah you've seen the growth you've seen the regeneration yeah. there's not that nowadays everything's become very uh uh, homogenic it's like uh, everything bleeds into one another and I feel like you guys represent one of the few cultures yeah like under like subcultures that's left in America I'm with that I'm with that like we're watching basically we're watching the internet kill the underground Right. There is going to be no more underground. Everybody's just going to be on some digital streaming shit. You ain't going to have motherfuckers just gorilla pimping in a parking lot, set that shit up, let's kick it. Right. It's going to be over we with. Come, we come from the old school, man, where we used to pass out cassette tapes and hang right. up handbills with staple guns on flyer and on telephone right. poles and shit. Yeah. Now it's a one mass email. That's how letter M bomb. I mean, you when we it, first you know? met M, we were walking out of fucking Kinko's. Right. And he come walking up on us. He was like, hey, are you house of crazies? And, I, and immediately defensive. <laughs> What's up? Wow. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah. no, no, no. I think you guys are the shit. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Start kicking it. 
became cool. Mm -hmm. Come by the house, come by his house. He's telling me, I'm going to fucking sign with Dre. I'm about to sign with Dre. And um, I remember I did interviews before that where I'm like, if anybody ever gets their hand on this kid, soul intent, it's over with. Right. It's over with. So end up meeting him, kicking it, cool, cool, cool. We let him, I told him, in Detroit, you had to pay money to play shows. Yeah, if you wanted to open a show, one that's that charge you love a hundred dollars yeah. a minute or some shit. And we told him any show we're ever on, you're on for free. You just do that, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And he was like, "Yeah, hell yeah." And then he went to that, and then he went to the Rap Olympics, and he told our people, "Tell Paul, I'm about to sign the deal." Damn. And he ended up signing the deal, and then somehow him and ICP ended up getting into some shit. Yeah. And I'm telling him, I'm like, we have nothing to do with this. We got shit to do with this, right? right. So, dude takes, flies him home, right? Off the label, or I need you on this. You know what I mean? Come back heartbroken. And we're, we just told him, don't involve us in any of it. You got your shit, do your shit. Because when we had our shit, we had to handle our shit on our motherfucking own. But, so that was a fucked up situation. That must have been tough, huh? It was. It was an awkward it was, position. We're getting money with these dudes. These dudes are our <clears throat> brothers. But we explained to them. The best that we could, and either they bought it or they didn't, and they were like, "Fuck y'all, this is how we feel. We respect it. What it is, what it you is." To, you know, yeah. But you guys stayed out of it. Yep. At the end of the day, we're the ones that After, ended yeah. up getting a hold of proof in them, like let's, trying to squash, let's squash it. Squash this crazy dumb shit. Right. Let's squash it. And proof was with it, so everybody met up at a bowling alley and squashed it, just like that. To the point where you know, just just this last year or two, we released uh, Bazaar's project. Right, we Lars. fuck with Bazaar. Yeah. I fuck with him. You know what I mean? So it's like our ties to to the to the family. To the you know what I mean? Yeah. To the you know what I mean? However you want to say it, it's like it, it's there. Yeah. It's just it's it's a little. It's a little bumpy road from the past, and, and it took a little being adulting to, to make it proper again. Right. I got to give it to you guys. It's, uh, it's, it's cool that you – it's it's not easy to, to stick to your guns, especially when money's involved, for and sure. you guys were able to do it repeatedly. Thank we you, do, man. man. Thank you. Thanks, for real. For real. For real, man. Thanks for noticing. I appreciate that. That's <laughs> like one of them things that people don't see. For you, real. The integrity isn't something that you wear. You know what I mean? It's something that you really have to pay attention to. And if you don't, then you really miss the in integral, integral moves, Damn. so to speak. You know what I mean? For real, though. Let me go back to when you met. So you said you, when you first heard him, you was like, whoever gets their hands on this motherfucker, it's, it's, it's over with. It's, and it fucking happened to be Dre. We were. I was like, get the fuck out of here, because he went. I believe. I'm trying to think. He was with with Rockets when he went to the Olympics, and the people that we knew that went went with Be Real and them with Psycho Realm and all them. Yeah. So that's how he ended up telling the dude that was in another group that was on the record label that business to tell yeah. me, and I was just like, I fucking told y'all, like the dude is about to do it. And then a little bit more time went by, and I was watching TV, and it was bump. My name is. I was like, "You gotta be fucking." Holy so shit. you must have been so. You must have been so excited to I, see that. Proud, God. proud is more the thing than yeah. anything. You, you know, know when I mean? you just, call something, you're just like, he called his shot, and that motherfucker worked. Like I, I believe I'm an, ex, I'm an, ex, I'm a really good judge of talent. Yeah, I always have been. It's true. And that was just one of them dudes where I'm like, hey, anybody gets a shot. It's it was cool with. because I was like, that's the dude that used to come over when we were building the House of Crazies props. Right. He'd be like, what y'all building? Uh -huh. Right. Like, that's him, dude. Holy shit. Hey, man, that's what's up. You know, it's it's a small world, man. It it's really good to is. see it's good to see people from Detroit come up, but Detroit is 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 a player hating ass city, so anytime anyone comes up, the first thing <laughs> yeah. to do is drag them back down. You know it's, what I mean? Yeah, it's a, it's a, So it, we're accustomed to that, yeah. you know. It's a give and take scenario. We've gotten it a lot and we take it a lot. If you get if you if you if you got out of Detroit, you really fucking you, For real? you really grinded to do it. So. <laughs> For real. I mean it, right. Unless but you hit the lottery or something. But it is a tight knit organization because even back in the days, like you said, when we would pass out the flyers, you'll see like Kid Rock fly Cars, same parking lot. Same, same, same drive. Same mentality. It's out there on the hustle. It's Friday night. The clubs are packed, and then we joke around with each other. Yeah, don't take my flyers off the car when you put yours on, man. I got you. Right. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it was I, like an unspoken. I've never gone respect. to a show because of a flyer. I <laughs> hope that's awesome. No, I mean, but, but, it, but it was. An I've unspoken never seen respect. a flyer like. You know what? I need I'm, a flyer on it's Friday. True. But but that you was the mentality. We it's had no idea. A, you try to put your face. In yeah. front of their face, 
any way right. that you could, as many times as you could. Put For stickers sure. on the drive through things because you think that eventually they're going to be like, why do I keep seeing this shit? I right. go to this Hardee's you know every mean? day and there's this twisted sticker on. What right. the fuck is a twisted? You right. know what I mean? And before too long, you're going to Google that motherfucker and come find out. And now before it was Google, you couldn't do yeah, shit. Yeah, right. You had to look that shit up in the We had hotline. Thesaurus. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hotlines, right for real. Well, uh let's let's I appreciate y'all coming through. Let's hey. play let's play the new single. What is it? It's called Something New. It's off Generation Nightmare. The album comes out four twenty six nineteen yep. in stores on digital platforms everywhere. Go it's out. one of them ones, man. Uh, the song is lit for real. It's not I guess a typical twisted song, so to speak, right? Oh, it is. We, I don't know. Let them judge. But we we, we experimented a lot on the record. We have yeah. fun every time we do a record. We try to have fun. We never lose the fun having process because then it becomes too much business. And now you're just you know, working, right? So we like to be happy doing what we do. So we was all over the board on this one and had a good time making it. So yeah. I hope y'all enjoy it, man. Turn it up, bump that shit. Twisted. Good to talk to y'all, man. Hey, pleasure, thanks man. For talking Thank you, with man. Us, bro, for real. Let's go. Yes, sir. <laughs>